Cool. So what's up, everybody? Good evening. Good evening. Excited to see everybody here. Just type in the chat box one word in terms of how you're feeling coming into this call tonight. Could be anything. How you guys feeling? Could be anything that you're grateful for. Could be how you're feeling in general. Sammy's tired. Thank you for being honest. Grounded. Gigi's feeling LFGGGGG. Uh, excited. Relieved. What else? Feeling great on the Galaxy S8, whoever that is. Curious. Cool. Okay. Wonderful. Curiosity is a great place to be. And uh, all right, cool. So let's get into it. So a couple of weeks ago, we rolled out a very, very um, focused uh, recruiting strategy in terms of how to engage people um, in the in the in the world of, of beauty. And we also understand that that's only one part of how to build this business. There's this other part of building our business that's so important, and that's of course the ability to acquire customers. And social media has made customer acquisition the simplest thing that we've ever been able to do in my career in network marketing, because make no mistake, the way we used to acquire customers was literally going and knocking on doors, begging our friends and family to try our products. It was really, really, really tough. But social media obviously puts us in a position where for free, for free, you can build, an, you can build a huge, huge, huge business. So Eden and I have obviously been fortunate to have earned a significant amount of income over the last eight years. And in that time, we have spent a total of zero dollars on advertising that I can recall. Zero dollars. Zero dollars on advertising. No Facebook ads, and no Instagram ads. And we've expanded our business to over 70,000 customers with zero. And I don't believe that any single person inside of our organization has either has spent money on ads either. So just consider that for a moment. Consider the ability to build a business that brings in a certain amount of income for you based on whatever that number would be for you that would really make a huge difference in your life all the way up to millions of dollars potentially, right? You got to work really hard. It's not just post and pray, but the ability to build a business using social media, allowing you to expand across 26 international markets you really have the ability to think, act, and operate like a CEO. And that being said, you've got to be willing to get aggressive in your marketing strategies because you're not the only person out there trying to acquire customers. You're not the only people out there competing for people's time, money, energy, and focus. And so what we're going to talk about tonight is how to use social media in an effective way to get customers, potential customers, intrigued by what you're doing. And we're really, really fortunate in that we have a new product with marine collagen. That's a showstopper. That's a scroll stopper. That's a stop you dead in your tracks. Oh my God, what is that person doing? How did they achieve that result? I want what they have. And what makes it so much better than anything we've ever had before, anything I've ever seen before, is that it creates a visceral response immediately. It is a visual, reactive, impulse-making, creating product. And so I posted something that I knew wouldn't get a lot of engagement in the team page because it was early Saturday morning, but I, and some, some of you probably didn't see that. Most of you probably didn't see this post. In fact, I'm sure you didn't, but I put up a post and just to kind of summarize it, just to help you guys understand how big I'm thinking in terms of the quality of this one product is my first sales job was when I was 15 years old. That's 24 years that I've been in sales, 24 years. My first entrepreneurial endeavor was also at 20, was at 24 years old. So for 15 years, I've been in business. I've been around and involved in the transaction of millions of dollars of sales, millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars. And by far, hands down, without question, Marine collagen is the best product I've ever seen. And as I said in the post, you can do whatever you would like with that information, but I'm really clear on what we're doing. How many of you recognize, drop a one in the chat box, how many of you recognize what a special opportunity Marine collagen presents for you and your families? How many of you are starting to pick up on it just based on kind of what you're seeing? So what we wanna teach you is some very, very simple social media strategies that we've been using from day one that Eden is an expert at that are still effective and relevant today if you're willing to work them consistently. But that's the big key word is consistently. So in order for this to be effective for you, you're gonna to have to suspend your disbelief. 
You're going to have to be willing to push aside everything that you've previously been taught about social media marketing. You're going to have to be willing to push aside your beliefs on wanting your page to look a certain way or be portrayed a certain way, your beliefs around perfectionism, your beliefs around things looking pretty and perfect and branded and all that stuff. You're going to have to eliminate all of it because if you want to stand out in a crowded marketplace, You've got to be willing to show up consistently and aggressively while being classy and not being spammy, but most importantly, consistently and aggressively. So why don't you start to dive into some of the stuff that you've just done consistently for years now that you're still doing today that's still being wildly effective. What are some of the top tips when it comes to sharing and what kinds of content you're creating? Um, well, what I found is that stories are highly effective. So it's a combination of doing the occasional post on your wall. Now, for those of you, and I say occasional, if you already have an established page of messaging and content that's in alignment with what you're reaching out to people about, because social media, think about it as this like constant moving and evolving billboard, right? Like businesses in the past to raise awareness around what we were doing, you know, maybe we would buy a, a, a billboard down at a major intersection or something. That was how, or put an ad on the radio or in the newspaper. That was how companies raised awareness around their products historically, these, these stagnant billboards. Think about social media in a very similar way. You are the brand and people go to your page to find out what you're all about. So what are they actually going to find? Are they going to find content that is aligned with what you might be reaching out to them about? Because social media serves a, a few functions. It, of course, serves like I'm talking about with this billboard where people can go and really have an opportunity to validate what it is that you're saying and talking about whether you meet on the street, whether you reach out to them, whether they catch one of your stories. But What's also really important and most valuable probably in our day-to-day -day operations of social media is using it as a way to not just post and attract people to us, but as a way to identify potential partners, potential customers, and make, well, really potential partners and making a direct ask to, to, for them to take a look at the opportunity. So we're not going to focus too much on that tonight too much on the actual proactive reach outs of identifying prospects, asking them to take a look at what you do. But what you do want to keep in mind is that is an activity that you want to be doing. And we have loads of recordings and templates and whatever to teach you exactly how to do that. But what's most important to emphasize is that when you're doing those things, when you're doing those activities, when I reach out to Susie Beauty Pro about potentially um, partnering up with us around collagen for all the reasons why it makes sense for her business, she may not respond to me right away. She's most likely first going to go to my page and see, all right, what is this woman all about? What are her values? What is she into? What is she talking about? What kind of life has she experienced? What is, of course, she's saying about her product? What information can I find about it, out about it before I even know if I want to respond to her? So you want to have that digital billboard or kind of a moving resume, however you want to relate to it. It's a validation step for somebody to go there and be like, all right, she reached out to me about collagen. I see there's a highlight reel about collagen. Let me tap what that's about. She mentioned that she, um, you know, is her focus is on in partnering with some, you know, identifying some key brand partners inside of her local market. Okay. Cause that's one of the templates that we have. So let me see what she's talking about all about what, what she's talking about with that. Oh, I see there's a highlight reel showing some financial wins. Let me click on that and see what that is. Oh, marine collagen. I don't even know much about it. Like maybe I should go search Google. Oh, no, no, no. I see there's an FAQ or a collagen info highlight reel on her page. Let me just click on that. So social media gives us a variety of tools so that people can go to our pages and do some due diligence and see now that there's enough content, there's consistency, I'm in the game, I'm providing value, I'm operating professionally, and they see this as a potential energetic match enough to at least reach back out to me and say, all right, this sounds interesting, I checked some things out on your page, I'm totally open to looking at some information. So 
while it's really important to not get totally caught up in all of the mechanics of social media, all of the aesthetics of it, it can be something that is deeply paralyzing. It could be something that takes an enormous amount of time. There are certain things and tools inside of social media that I personally have not yet embraced because I just don't want to get caught up in the mode of like making reels all the time. Although I'd love to learn how to do it in a way that's really efficient. I'm not posting like huge, long, you know, value posts every day, unless there's content that's pouring out of me, but I am making sure to show that I have a pulse to pop some stuff into stories so that I can show up on people's feeds. So they see me when they're swiping through stories, they're seeing my name pop up consistently. They're seeing that I'm posting before and afters consistently. Even if they're mindlessly scrolling through the feed, I want them to see that I am present. I'm showing up every day. Now I'm not on there selling every day, but I don't need to be because I just want to be in their awareness. So social media is a dance. It's a dance to learn how to do it effectively without being obsessive about it, without being perfectionistic about it. It's more important to just get it done than for it to be perfect. And so, you know, if you have content that you can recycle, great. If you can post once a day, like make an actual static post, that's fantastic. It doesn't have to be something that's mind blowing. It could be an inspirational quote. It could be something that you learned in church or from the book that you're reading. It can be something you heard on a podcast. It could be a reflection on a time in your life where things were tougher than they are now. It could be a reflection about what this added income from your side hustle or your home-based business has allowed you to do this year, how it's made life easier for you, how it's allowing you to, you know, do X, Y, Z that maybe you couldn't do before sharing those stories where you from about where you came from to where you are now and also where you are now to where you are going so there can be a whole gamut of content that you're putting out there that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with your isogenics business and is more about willingness to of willingness to vulnerably just share yourself with people, share your thoughts with your network. If you watched celebration, you heard um, from the keynote speaker who was named Chris Doe. Chris Doe about how we, you know, self-discovery comes through this opportunity that we have to write and to write our stories and to share things that are happening in our life and put it out there, but put it out there without any attachment to who it's going to attract. Those posts really are more about playing the long game, establishing a presence of who you are so people can go to your page and understand a little bit more about you. From an actual marketing standpoint, where it comes when it comes to content that you really do want to be like you're throwing bait in the water for 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 potential customers to bite that bait and you reel them in and help them get started on collagen, give them some information, help them get started on collagen. The attraction marketing with the intentionality of attracting customers to you, the way that I found that's been really effective for me is using putting that content in stories. That way I don't totally muck up my feed. You know, for some of you who saw my feed in the beginning of the year, I was posting before and afters on my feed. And I decided, I actually think I may have hid them or pushed them down. Um, I decided that I'd rather keep my feed somewhat clean if I can, but pop all of those before and afters in my story. So almost every day, every few days, I will run through some kind of a story sequence about collagen. I'm going to start it with some kind of a tile and I don't even look for the most perfect tile. Do you know what I do? I take a picture of my hand up really close so that the screen turns black and then I write over it. That's how fancy I get. I, I do not spend a lot of time doing this and I don't recommend that you spend a lot of time doing stories. Okay. So I just take a picture covering my thing. I'll write some, a little bit of text on there. Like I love waking up to text messages from happy customers using our collagen products, you know, swipe to see results or something like that. And then I'll literally post a before and after photo that I grabbed from the Elixir university or that I saw somebody else share on their page. And I'll do five or six of those. And then I might do a light call to action at the end. I might say something like, you know, I might do a poll. I might say something like, if you'd like more, you know, would you like some more information? And then you send me some info or, you know, 
how much is it or whatever it is. Like you got to play with different things in marketing because what Zach taught me early on with marketing and marketing principles is that 50% of marketing works, 50% doesn't work. The challenge is we just never know what's going to work and what doesn't work. There are some days where I'll post some stories up and I'll get like three or four new customer inquiries out of nowhere. It'll literally fall in my lap. Some days it's crickets. So it just depends. You're not going to always attract new customers with every time, but that's okay. What's most important is that you put the content out there. Occasionally, I'm going to sprinkle in financial stories. I highly recommend that you do something like that. For those of you who are in consistent action with reaching out to people, especially those of you who are doing the, the beauty business strategy, which we rolled out on a team call, I think about four or five weeks ago now, if you didn't watch it and you want to watch it, it's um, I think in the pin post or in a, it's an announcement post in our, in our page. Um, but for those of you who are running that, tell the story. So start telling stories that tie in, that validate what it is you're approaching people about. So if I'm reaching out to beauty professionals, I'm saying, Hey, here's my expertise. Here's what I'm up to. Here's what I'm looking for. Here's a little bit about the product. Are you open to, you know, I don't know if this, I don't know if you like the idea of adding another income stream or whether or not this would be for you, but if you're curious to learn more, just shoot me a note back and we can discuss next steps. And if not, no big deal. It's always great to know the most talented estheticians who I can refer people to. Okay, that's straight off of the template. Most likely before they respond again, they're going to go to my stories. They're going to go to, they're probably going to go to my stories first. And if they like what they see and there's something there that resonates, then they're going to go to my page. Then they're going to look at the highlight reels. Then once they do that, they might go down into my feed and read some things. Probably not. But if they go into my stories, I want to feed a story that's going to speak to them. So I might do some, if I know that I'm sitting down to do a bunch of reach outs, what I might do is I might first prime my stories with some content, knowing that a lot of those people that I'm about to reach out to are going to go right back to my story and see, all right, what is this that she's talking about? And so on a day where I might crank out, you know, 30 or 40 messages inside of an hour or two hours in, in a, you know, in a, in a power hour kind of a setting of, of doing all these reach outs, I might spend 30 minutes and make a financial story or make some kind of a financial story carousel inside of my, inside of my, um, inside of my IG stories. And I might even throw them on Facebook too, for good measure. Why not? Okay. Because I want them to see that, oh, the people that I'm working with are getting financial results. This woman knows what she's talking about. This is legit. I want to learn more. How did Tommy and Esther earn $7,500 that week? How the heck did that even happen? How did that woman, Kelly, all the way in Belgium make $4,000? What the heck? She was a, a retail manager. What? And you can use these stories if you're brand new to the team, or if these are people that, you know, are just in the team easy family, or even in the community. And these are stories that you want to share, borrow those stories. They're your stories. These are all our stories to share because these are stories that were created and the results that were generated based on the same exact product that we are offering to them as this no brainer solution, addition to their business or addition to whatever it is they're doing for the primary source of income. So I might have something and maybe you saw this and I'll oftentimes, I will personally make these stories, post them in the team page so you can take it and post it yourself. But I did something like I, you know, I just took a little snapshot of a, of a map of Europe. And I said, seven days ago, we launched collagen in Europe. Here are the results. Boom. Next page, 130,000 or 160,000 bottles sold. What does this mean? This means a big payday for our brand partners out there. I'm using the word brand partner because in my template that I'm using to reach out to them, I'm using the word brand partner. They're looking for alignment. They're looking for truth. They're looking to see, is this too good to be true? So I want to give them validation. I want to help to build the confidence and the trust that they have in me enough to just be willing to reach back out and say, all right, curious to learn more. So making it easier for them to make that type of a decision. And I'm keeping them all on the same platform with doing this. And so if I am posting and sharing a financial success story, I just got to make sure that I have a very good disclaimer at the bottom, which you'll see at the bottom of all of our posts. So anytime you're talking about money, please make sure to use the company line disclaimer, but that's it. And I just put them in there and I might do a closing tile to say, we're partnering up with so many beauty professionals 
and, you know, health enthusiasts or beauty enthusiasts or whatever around the world. And I might even do a little call to action. It's not really my style to do so much of a call, uh, to do so many call, call to actions personally. It's not to say that you won't have success doing it with doing polls and asking questions and whatever, but engage your audience. There was one time where I did a whole series because I was noticing that all of these pictures I was posting, everybody's after photos, their eyes were much brighter. And so I asked myself the question, I'm like, what's up with everybody's eyes? And so I searched type one collagen and eyes and eye health. And I got all this information. So what did I do? I posted a series of before and after pictures. I circled their eyes to point it out to my viewers. And then I, you know, and then I did a tile where I said, um, you know, what's up with everybody's eyes? Did you know, dot, dot, dot. And then I just put screenshots and I circled some of the information that I Googled about eye health and collagen. That way it's not an isogenics position. This is what's out there on the internet. Do your own research. I'm showing you my exact source. Here it is. But I'm also educating my audience and I'm mixing it up. So it's not just, you know, constant before and afters. You can do the same thing for, for anything, marine collagen and, and scar tissue, marine collagen and, and um, stretch marks, like what, whatever. How you can very cleverly and without taking a lot of time educate your viewers while also sharing great results and just putting stuff in your feed. But that's not going to be every day. Some days you're just going to put pictures of your dogs in there. Some days you're just going to post some funny memes in there. Some days you're going to post some inspirational message because you just feel called to do it. And that when people, when those same people, like let's say, let's say yesterday. I reached out to a bunch of people and I knew I was going to make a bunch of these business asks. So I prepared a stories that was going to run for 24 hours so that those prospects, if they go, they're going to see it. Well, today I didn't do that, but I still want my name. I still want people to see that I have stories so that whether they're swiping through mindlessly, they see me, whether they go to my page, they see it. And maybe they will go and just see a couple of funny memes. And for them, that's enough because they'll find it funny too. They'll think, oh, if they posted that, like we're going to get along great. What I would encourage you to do, and there are actually a couple of things I would encourage you to do. When you are on camera, and that's another thing, weave in being on camera, talking about it. You can talk about the product. You can talk about your life. You can talk about your kids. Don't talk for too many, um, too many 15 second clips. If you're going to do that, try to get creative with weaving pictures in to tell a story. Okay. But as you're talking with your audience, especially since we're talking about the skin product, be the one that doesn't use filters, maybe that is really like, that's, what's going to, that's going to be some of, one of the things that's going to separate you from the rest is when people go to your page and be like, whoa, they look that great without filters. Oh, they have the confidence that they can be here without a filter on and without makeup on. How cool is that? So I would encourage you really, if you don't have to, don't use a filter, just allow people to really see who you are. Another real big encouragement um, is, you know, we always have stayed away from very polarizing kinds of conversations on social media. Are you telling me not to do that? No. Okay. We've stayed away from polarizing conversations personally for us, because look, we know that some people who are going to join our organization and some people who are going to be amazing business partners might have a different belief system than we do. They may have been raised differently. They just might have a different sort of ethos and it doesn't make them a bad person. It just, it's okay. Like we can all coexist and we don't need to only hone in on 50% of the population that are going to believe what we believe. We'd rather receive 100% of good people who have whatever beliefs they have. But what happens is when we post things that are polarizing, and there's a lot of stuff out there to be polarizing about because there are a lot of strong opinions that are running through all of our veins right now, okay? But what happens when we are public with that as people who are actively building a business online is we, we do find ourselves in a position of alienating 50% of the people who are going to look and be like, oh, I don't believe in that. I'm out. And that's not the right partner for me as opposed to just kind of keeping it open. Now, there are some of you that might think, you know what, my message and my purpose in life is to deliver this polarizing message and I'm happy to receive only 50% of the population. That's cool with me. I don't wanna work with people that don't believe what I believe. If that's where you're at, that's fine. 
It's just what we have found is to is staying pretty neutral publicly allows us to receive and attract more people that maybe wouldn't be attracted to us if we got into like a whole big political conversation, you know, who knows. So staying kind of neutral in that sense um, has been really val valuable for us. So I know that that was throwing a lot of information at you guys. Um, did I miss anything in the process? Oh, once you have created your Instagram stories, you can pop them into highlight reels. Highlight reels is a collection and you can access all of your previous stories that you've ever done. So if you feel like, oh shoot, I did a really great couple of story sequences that I'd love to put in a highlight reel, you can create that. You can open it up, you can, you can check off whatever stories you wanna have in there. That way when somebody goes to your page, they can look at all of your collagen before and afters and you can just update every time you do a story, you update that highlight reel. Oh, they're also into, um, you know, into clean or whatever. Actually, let me not even go there. So uh, highlight reel with product testimonials before and afters with the collagen, probably a highlight reel with some sort of financial results that people are getting or possibly you telling the story either on camera or with images of what this has done for your life. And that actually could be a really great way if you want to, after listening to this call, really take on a more consistent activity with social media or possibly cleaning up and streamlining your message a little bit, one of the things that you could do is go on camera or create with a series of pictures and writing over them. Tell your isogenic story. You don't have to say the name isogenics. You don't have to give exact dollar amounts or whatever, but you can say, you know, a couple of years ago, I partnered up with this company. Here's what it's meant for me. Here's what the extra incomes allowed me to do. Here's the product that we released in January that's done already $60 million in sales in just its first six months alone. Here are the types of people I'm really excited to partner up with. Just start to become more bold and creative and allow yourself to put stuff out there without overthinking it, without having to be perfect, without all the filters and all this stuff. Just allow people to really see who you are and have a place to go to understand a little bit more about what it is that you do so that you give yourself, you cast yourself the widest net possible. And that's really the idea behind all of this, because I'll tell you something for the people out there that are really looking to monetize their social media influence or their influence inside of their businesses, a lot of them do take social media seriously. And one of the things that they'll see about our social media is whether or not we're staying relevant and whether or not we're consistent in our activity because people assume that if we're not posting on social media, we're not working. It's just the assumption that a lot of people make in today's world, unfortunately. So the reality is that posting before and afters every single day is not gonna make you any money. Marketing does not make you money. Sales makes you money. But marketing leads to sales. Marketing leads to the conversation where you're then doing the selling. So therefore, no marketing, no money. So how many of you, drop a two in the chat box, how many of you know that you get to step it up in terms of how much more consistent you can be on a daily basis when it comes to marketing the quality of the product that we have, the before and afters, lighting up your stories like Eden talked about, right? Telling stories throughout consistently because here's the other thing and I want you to get this. And I think I was talking to Sid about this the other day. A lot of people worry about, I don't want to post before and afters every single day. I don't want people to think I'm spamming my, my stories. Well, what? guess what? 97% of them don't see your posts. 97 to 90. 90, excuse me, 96 to 97% of your audience never sees any of your posts. You're only going to get a maximum of about a 4% organic reach. That's it, 4%. So therefore, you can get away with it. You can fill up your feed at least once a day with those before and afters so that you can start to peak beyond that four to five to 6% reach. And here's the best part about it. Your feed or your stories? Your stories, excuse me. Or your feed. If you feel if you feel like you can do it in a way that, that, that matches what you're doing and all that stuff, then absolutely, I think, get it on your feed, 100%. But here's the, here's the best part about it. When you really understand our compensation plan, 
and you really understand this the way this thing works, and if you don't really understand our compensation plan, if you don't really understand how this works, then I really want to encourage you to go to OurEasyTraining.com, go to the training section, watch the compensation plan video, watch it over and over and over again until it clicks. Doesn't matter that that comp plan has to do with value packs and now we're leading with collagen. At the end of the day, the back end money is the back end money. But watch and what you will quickly learn if you really watch over and over and over again is how quickly that 4% of your network that does pick up on your messaging, as long as you're consistent and as long as you adhere to some of the principles that we talked about and as long as you're willing to sell within your inbox, like we've been talking about, that 4% can become 4,000 people, 14,000 people, 40,000 people, 400,000 people. But if you don't open the door to your store every single day, people aren't gonna think to shop there. They're not even gonna window browse. They're gonna think you're closed for business. So you gotta open up every single day. No marketing, no money, plain and simple. No marketing, no sales, no sales, no money. Therefore, no marketing, no money. So how many of you drop a C in the chat box for committed? How many of you are committed to showing up more consistently when it comes to your social media marketing and willing to let go of previously conceived beliefs around what it might look like or making yourself look bad or wanting to be yeah. perfectionist? And don't spend or, too much time on it. Just yeah. get something up there. It's better done than perfect. Better done than perfect. Progress is greater than perfection. So um, I think with that being said, we'll start to wrap up unless there's uh, anything else you want to add. No, we're good. No, was that helpful was for that you guys? Helpful? Yeah, good, cool, sweet. All right, I'm going to drop into the Dream Team page. What did you learn? Please keep an eye out for that post. Please comment what you actually picked up on this. Again, not for my benefit, not for her benefit, but for your benefit to one, further retain what it was that you picked up on. And two, you might say something that somebody else that was watching this training right now might not have picked up on. So it's also you providing value to the rest of the team by participating in that activity. Remember, highly engaged, highly engaged, highly engaged. It's the same thing. How you show up in the groups, how you show up on social media is a reflection of the results you're going to get in your life and in your business every day of the week. So thank you all for playing full out tonight. Thanks for engaging with us this evening. We'll see you all soon. Have a good evening.